Welcome to a little video and entry point. Must say, my freaking desktop is a mask. A mask. I called it a mask instead of a mess. So, there was an April Fool's update. If you were wondering, I don't know if it's still in the game. I'd have to check. I don't feel like it at the moment. Uh, they added a bunch of funny update logs. Um, all I saw that was real was, uh, uh, right now that someone left a raven in one of the p deposit boxes in the deposit. So, this is going to be a loadout video and stuff, but if you're wondering, I do have a raven. I named it Claw. Uh, basically, you have to, you still have to pay for it once you find it, but it's a pretty fun pistol. It just looks cool, pretty much. It, it is impractical. <laughs> it, it's just cool, you know? And it does a lot more damage than the regular handgun, but also has a bunch more recoil. It's basically like a deagle or something, I guess. I don't know. But I'm going to show you my loadouts today. I have two characters. Pretty high level. Uh, max level is 60, just so you know. Uh, unless you get the Game Pass, which for some odd reason, I'm crazy and I bought it. Even though I have, like, no need whatsoever for it. Anyway, this is my Infiltrator Stealth class. So, I'm going to go into Skills first. Because I feel that's probably where people have the most confusion. So, this class has been started as a Prodigy. And I've just gotten, like, this skill, this skill. You get the idea. And then you get here. And you can just get this skill. It's like a regular skill. So, like, uh, if you want deception, you just have to go over to it and grab it. That's how these work. But you can only take one. You can also take the other tree. So, you could be a hacker and go over here and get this one if you want to do loud. So, an important part of it is being able to respec. So, I'm going to show you what a good, like, a good stealth loadout. You want to get as many of these out of sight perks as you can. And also, uh,. And then, okay, so this is how I say priority order. Uh, firstly, you, you go, so you want to prioritize on uh, things that would give you skills. So if you're not a hacker, you want to go for these out, out of sights last because it gives you a bunch of useless speed hacks, which won't really do you any good. I, I don't know if there's any cases where it would, but if you're a hacker, then it's fine to get those. But I would prioritize it in this way. You want to get art out of sight first, and then masquerade, and then the art of steel. Actually, wait. No, that was the art of steel. <laughs> you want to get art of steel first, so you can get the lock picks, uh, and then you want to get uh, lock picking speed, uh, so you lock pick faster. It's just useful. So that's the order I would prioritize it. So you click here, you confirm. You can respec. You can do this as much as you want. There's no harm in doing it. It's actually very useful because you can turn a loud class into a stealth class or vice versa or whatever. Because I have an engineer. I built it over here and I got it and I got some useful stuff. So the way this works basically is 10% equipment deployment and interaction speed. So that doesn't work for everything necessarily. So, it's just drills and lockpicks. So, any other thing you can think of, it would work. So, that would actually be useful for the fire bug. I didn't consider that, but you could speed up your fire bug speed by getting the equipment specialist perks. But, I'm going to go speed hack, because I'm a hacker. And, firstly, I want to make it to this one, which is going to take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, if you want to build over to this from here, or vice versa, you're going to have to be at least level 11. But that's what you want to go for first. And if you mess up, it's fine. You can respec and do it again. And then you can see, there's probably... Okay, so you can see, I want interference because it's a good perk. And then I'm also going to want deception eventually because it's also a good perk. And it also has this. So, you can kind of see where I probably want to go. So you can see there's an out of sight perk here. I want to get that because that gives me interference, which is a good perk. You want that really. And then you want out of sight again. And that unlocks more, 
and then I probably want this one, because that makes that one available. You get the idea. So you want to prioritize on what it gets you, too. Because if you have limited skill points, then it's an issue. Also, you don't want to waste skill points. So you see, I might get... Look, there's a bunch of skill points here, so I might go for this one, and then get this. Because then I can keep going. But I should have actually gone here, maybe. So you can see, I can go here, just keep trying to get the out of sight perks, yeah, fast hands, that's a plus, it's got these two, so I'm going to keep going, so I've gotten a bunch of out of sight, so I'm going to stop there, um, you can probably skip past this, but you get the idea, I guess, you just want to be smart, and get all of these you can, I'll fill it out quickly enough, so I probably want to go here next, because there's some masquerades there, so I'll go here. Get myself deception, get those out of sights. I look for the rest of the out of sights, there's one here. And you can see that's almost all of them. There's three down there. So I'm going to get this one because it's better than XP. Well, it, it's what we want. So we can get three more out of sights down there. We can also get uh, hit concealed holsters if we wanted to. Uh, I don't really find need in these because you just use the default gun, default pistol, and you're fine. Okay, so now we gotta get into this, which is eh. Uh, this will unlock a bunch of stuff, and it's cool, but you don't really need it. Uh, it does let you view cameras from anywhere, though, which is useful, I guess. And also, it, it's just surveillance, really. So, I'm gonna get this one. This. Boom. 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 Doom. Do. Do. So, that's when I have a bunch of skill points, I do that, and now I wanna move on Maybe you could get Masquerade instead of that, but I'm just going to keep getting Masquerade until it looks like I have everything. I've got, like, all the fast hands for the most part. See, I want to just keep getting fast hands, and there's actually one more out of sight there. I want all the fast hands I can get, because I want to have fast hands. There's one more there. This might be better than the one I had before, to be honest, but I haven't spent all my skill points yet, so maybe not, um... Uh, now I'd go, because I'm a hacker, I'm going to go for some speed hacks. Uh, get this, so I can use my deagle. Huh. Uh, I think that's mostly everything. I'll get these two. Now, if you have more useful skills available to you, that's what we, you would do. Okay, so hopefully you get a good idea of that. Now, if you... Now, there's many other classes you can go for. So, maybe you want to have an engineer... So for stealth, I would say probably what you want is uh, an engineer uh, thief. So maybe you want to start as thief so you can level up a lot. Or you can, uh, if you're a loud character, you can level up in Shadow War. It's pretty easy. So basically, you'll see what I've done here. I'm not going to go through the whole thing again. But uh, see, I built here. I took like the least path of resistance, but... And then I get interference on the way. And then I make it to here. And then I can keep expanding and getting more skills. Which I'm going to do now. Since this is a stealth class. I'm going to try to get more fast hands. And more uh, art of... Or out of sight. Yes. So like I, I got this. So I'm going to get these. Because I went to the trouble of unlocking it. And uh, I might get pistol mastery. Yeah sure I'll get pistol mastery. And then we'll get these fast hands. Lots of fast hands. See, I have a bunch of perk points. I could get these out of sights here. There we go. Let's see, I'll get this so I can unlock that just in case. Okay, so that's all I have now. So remember, you can respec. You can switch around your classes. It's very good. And that is how you do it. And uh, so if you're stealth, you want to prioritize these. Uh, to me, if you're loud, I uh, prioritize shock plating. That seems like it'd be most useful. And also, I'd get hidden reserves pretty soon. And uh, maybe some of these other perks, like steady aim and uh, what is it? There's another one down here. Dexterity and stuff would probably be useful. Then uh, just vital targets, uh, some weapon mastery perks. Let's see, negative 40% spread with rifles. That's probably pretty good. 
and then you get a plus 30% damage with that gun as well, which is nice. Um, and lots of stuff you can get, and that's pretty good for you, and then you probably want to invest in some breaching things, and yeah, see, negative 40% armor speed penalty has got to be real good, so you probably want to go with that, demolitions expert. Uh, now moving on to loadout, uh, hopefully this is pretty short, but it should be. I'm going to grab myself a new loadout here, so anytime, when you start the game and stuff, this is what your loadout is going to look like. So, uh, actually, I do recommend testing weapons, finding out what you might want to buy. Uh, only really matters for loud. Uh, if they're red, that means you can't use them without it being armed, if that makes sense. So, if I equip a grenade launcher, it's visible, which means if I take it in, people will always be able to spot me, which isn't good. Probably just want to take a stock UP9 or a customized one. If you have the money, you buy a UP9 for 1400 You buy that, and then you modify it with a suppressor. Is how you do it. I put a flashlight on mine for some reason. No, I'll actually get a laser on it. That seems dope. Um, and I got a glow sight because it's the cheapest and it looks pretty cool. Uh, I forget what... I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, I can look at the controls later. There's actually a send feedback button here too. So if you do want to unlock the the uh, the Raven, you have to pick. You have to open every deposit box in the deposit. You can do it on any difficulty, loud or quiet, don't matter. So you got your thing here. You can manage weapons to buy more weapons and such. And if you're loud, you want to get some good armor. Keep in mind, if you are on Recruit, all equipment is free. If you are on Professional, all equipment is half off. But Operative and Up, it's going to cost what it says here. So you can see, I've got zero deployment cost because I'm using a stock. That, that might be good for you. But now, you're going to need some equipment, depending on what heist it is. Uh, depo okay, so Deposit, you can get by with a lockpick sometimes. I Maybe only on Rookie, though, because... It's going to be a bit harder. You might not find a key card, which in that case you're kind of screwed. Um, yeah, you are kind of screwed if you don't find a lockpick. You'd have to take out more guards and stuff, and that's going to be hard. Uh, when you're going into uh, the deposit, you, it, if definitely if you're on Elite or you are on Legendary or you're just on Solo, you probably want to bring a Silent Drill because on that... You, I highly recommend bringing a silent drill. Actually, it's not even free now. Um, on that, you kind you like need it solo really. Uh, in archives, I always go for archives. It might be a little harder, but if you can manage it, you you might need to manage it. So you get in there and you look through the archives. It will give you the location, obviously, but it will also, if you keep searching them, give you a. Uh, uh, blueprints which you will search and will show you where to drill after a little bit and use the silent drill to switch objectives it's square brackets if you didn't know how to do that uh, and then it will display like an objective marker so that's good well you might be starting as thief which is probably a good idea so you want to get a lockpick so you got a lockpick here once you're in game you can click R to rotate them maybe fit them in your inventory a bit better if you've got a hacker, uh, and you're on, like, the deposit, or actually, the deposit is the only one that really needs this keycard scrambler. Uh, but other maps, don't take me wrong, are good having a hacker. For s different reasons I'll explain soon. Um, I'll go into the maps in a bit more detail and what you might, what equipment you might want to bring. Uh, if you bring C4... To the withdrawal, you can blow through walls, but keep in mind SWAT will also do that for you. And basically anything you can do with C4, you can do with a thumper. Which, uh, everyone knows, is 100% more fun. <laughs> so if you have a thumper, just bring that along and blast through walls. Uh, if you're doing silent, you don't want to bring a drill. And most, most uh, maps provide drills for you. Uh... Yeah. Oh, the only one that might not is the withdrawal, and you don't even need a drill on that, so that might be why. 
I, I it, it's just so if you don't bring a drill, you're not screwed. But you do want a lockpick. Uh, most stores are gonna need a lockpick, and you're just gonna need a lockpick in general. Is the idea? Actually, the deposit is useful to have a keycard scrambler. Um, I already said that, but there there is a secu there is security rooms on lower difficulty, or at least ones you can get into. Uh, so that's good. You can also just shoot the guy in the head from the uh, from the parking lot, second floor. I think I've shown that off before, but uh. So this is your basic loadout if you're just starting off. If you have no money, it's not going to cost you anything, which is nice. So, uh, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, I'm actually going to go into the maps in a bit more detail right now. I'm going to say, so the kill house, uh, you only need a lockpick. But you're probably going to need a lockpick. Uh, if you don't bring a lockpick, what's going to happen is you're going to have to shoot the door. And if a guard comes and sees that the door is open, then you're kind of screwed, because they'll spot it. But if you can get past that part, you'll be all good. As long as you find a key card, you can access the other sections of the kill house. Now, to more story, uh, we have a couple of things here. The withdrawal is a perfect map for, uh, for uh, engineers and stuff. Uh, because engineers can disable sensors uh, in the deposit, that is useful because uh, you can get into the guard room at the top, like the 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 top floor uh, guard room if you're on higher difficulties, and uh, in lower difficult on any difficulty, you can open the back door to get out if you have trouble making it out up top from when carrying loot bags. Uh, that's really all engineer does too. Uh, on the kill house, the engineer can actually uh, disable the sensors on the vault, which you need to disable now, um, right at the vault instead of having to look for a box. So it's just a bit easier, and you don't really need a hacker for that. Um, withdrawal, yeah, it's perfect because you can open a door that's like right there, so you don't have to run through the entire bank every time you want to do bags, which is great. Financer, again, don't really need hackers. Um, deposit, you really do kind of need a hacker, though, because uh, I'm not, there, there's two things that do hackers, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there's one where you can hack the manager's key, like the... Hack the manager's computer so you get the ID on the target. And you can also do two things. You can actually get the, it might only be on higher difficulties, but you can find a safe and crack it as a thief and it'll have the key card in it. So you want to keep an eye out on that. And it is much harder to do now, but you can still do that, which I'll explain now shortly. Uh, there's a guard usually posted in front of it. It's a one door on the top floor. You hack the computer in there, it gives you the vault code. What I usually do is I do my sneak beside him and uh, pick the lock. And then open the door, but now you can't even get in there. It, I've tried it multiple times. I don't think it's possible. Wouldn't, wouldn't recommend it anymore. Uh, you want to uh, let the guard stare at you for a bit until he starts walking at you, and then you want to you want to get to cover so he doesn't spot you. But uh, then the door will be clear, and you can run in, close the door behind you. You're all good, and then you can just run out. Uh, keep in mind. You want to have space in case the card's in there, because if it is, you won't be able to carry it. And you can only do this so many times before he starts getting more and more suspicious until he'll spot you. You, you won't be able to escape it anymore. Uh, anyway, financer. Yeah, I don't need much. Uh, the keycard scrambler will work on the panic room if it comes to that point, but that's really it. Uh, hacker is useful for... Um, you can find a computer, and it'll give you a safe location and the code if you hack it. You can also just interrogate Ryan to get both that information if you hostage him. But it is easier just not to do that. You can also find the information from guards, too, but not guaranteed. Uh, I think I've covered most of this. The kind of gear you want to bring. If you're stealthing, you want to bring lockpicks on all, all the maps. You want a lockpick, except... The only map you could probably do stealth without a lockpick is the kill house. Like, maybe without a lockpick. But really, you want 
all the gear you can get there. Uh, deposit, definitely want a silent drill. Really want that. Uh, you, your, well, skills, actually. Um, yeah, you just want to have these skills for, like I said, and then loop cameras is really good, because it allows you to do a couple things, but, yeah, it's good. Um, it allows you to disable dome cameras, too, if you, that was an issue. Usually, they can't even spot them, though, depending on where it is. Uh, thank you for watching, though. I hope this helped. I will answer any questions you leave in the comments. I read all of them, unless I forget. If I don't answer your comment, I don't care, just... <gasps> uh, like, no, I mean, uh... That's not what I meant. I meant, if I don't answer your comment, I don't care if you, like, notify me again, like you... Because I am bad and ignored it or something. Or didn't, couldn't answer it at the time and forgot. I'm just... Put another comment, or reply to your comment, say, uh, answer it, you goof, nerd, face, epic, and then I, and then I'll probably answer it, that's how it works, if you didn't know, uh, I don't really know what else to say, I don't really know anything else to say, but, uh, uh, you know, Ooh, this is my character. Ooh, dude, this is all my character. Uh, these guys wear the same suits for some reason. Uh, I guess that's the end of the video. Again, if you have any questions, I can answer it. I don't know what else I could answer, but... <gasps> I guess that's all you should know how to set up a good loadout. Uh, I hope this helped some people. Uh, maybe you already had this loadout going, and good for you. But uh, remember, uh, you just want to go for out of sight, and then you can just work towards better stuff. And uh, if you did your loadout, quote-unquote, wrong, which is not technically wrong, just probably not as efficient or whatnot, like maybe you uh, got some random skills and then you couldn't reach this or something, you know, basically you just got to uh, respec. It's really easy. If you only have one character and you want to do loud, you could respec. That's going to take a bit more time, but I guess it takes less time than making a whole new character and leveling it up. But if you like Shadow War, which you might, because it's amazing, it, it's it's really fun. Uh, you could uh, just get a character, get a new character, play Shadow War with it. It doesn't really make a difference what character you use, except you just look different. And then you'll level them up that way. If you want to just level up characters in your pastime, right? Um, so, thank you. Thank you for watching uh, this video. Well, let, let's play Entry Point. I'm going to upload in that Manufactory too, but like, I uh, don't know what I'm going to do that. Uh, for a second, I freaked out. It's like, oh, what, wait, wait if, what if I just did all this and wasn't recording? What if that's what I did? That would have been bad. That would have been like, oh, God. Let's not tell anyone about this, but now I'm going to start recording again and say, I've already done this all. And I'm... And then I'd be sad. I'd, I'd be sad. But uh, luckily you're watching this, which means it did get uploaded. Yay. Maybe not. Maybe no one watched this.